Welcome back. If you have old toys or dolls in your basement or closets that you haven't checked in years, might be time to dust them off. Because the toys of our youth are becoming super collectibles. Yes, we're that old. <laughs> and it's happening during this COVID pandemic. Consumer reporter John Matteris looks at nine items making a comeback so you don't waste your money. If the pandemic has you spending a lot of time at home, you might want to dig into your closets. That's because a lot of old toys and trading cards are soaring in value this year. Walk inside O'Smiley's Dolls and Collectibles on Beachmont in Mount Washington. This is my wall of doll. <laughs> and you'll find a wonderland of classic toys. This is what I consider the doll room. Owner Sherry Smiley has shelves of dolls that these days are in high demand. You know, the 80s Barbies, you're seeing an increase in the early Cabbage Patch Kids. Mom. Sherry says Gen Xers are now seeking the toys of their youth. We start to reflect what the best times in our lives were. Um, those are the toys that we go after. In the original box, some are worth hundreds of dollars. Among them, 1970s Barbies, 1980s Cabbage Patch dolls, early American Girl dolls, Chrissy and Dawn dolls, African American Christie dolls, African American dolls in general. Melrose Cross of Springdale is glad she kept her daughter's dolls. When she brings her little girl to visit, she gets to play with them. Margie Schultz with dollclubs.com believes people working at home all day have sparked the new interest. I think that those who still have jobs are buying like crazy. Toys for boys are hot too. If you didn't tear the legs off your GI Joe or He-Man. He-Man and GI Joe sometimes right now sell more than the Star Wars. Meantime, Hot Wheels from the 1970s are another hot collectible. This one's a 1970 Camaro. That one's $80. The key with any vintage item is condition and scarcity. If it's a Harry Potter item with millions of them out there, it's probably not going to be that valuable. The same is true for the hottest collectible of all right now, vintage cards. Some early Pokemon cards from 1997 through 99 have sold for thousands. And as WCPO reported earlier this week, baseball cards are on fire too. A card like this, it's worth thousands of dollars. That's a Pete Rose rookie card owned by Dean Hanley of Dean's Cards in Fairfax. Some of these expensive high-end cards like Mickey Mantle, Babe Ruth, they're five and ten times what they were a year ago. But Dean cautions that rarity and condition are key. If millions were made, we're looking at you, Funko Pops and recent Star Wars toys. Yours may only be worth a few bucks. I've posted more information about these old toys and what yours might be worth on WCPO.com and on my Facebook page so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris, WCPO 9 News.